Welcome everybody, this is a press conference we're holding. Uh, I am Luis Silva, I'm the, I'm the Hispanic Caucus Chair for the Florida College Democrats. We're here outside USF, or outside the Marshall Center, and uh, shortly there will be a debate, the Republican debate, and uh, we're, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot of the same that's, uh, that's been going on, a lot of anti-immigrant, anti-Hispanic uh, rhetoric. Uh, we're here to protest that. We've held a rally outside and we're actually holding this press conference right now. So uh, we have a couple speakers right now, um, besides myself, we have Mr. John Coco, who is the Hispanic Caucus Chair for the, for the, for the College Democrats here at USF. We have Ms. Betsy here, and we have Mr. Kano, all of whom represent different Hispanic organizations, Hispanic Democrat organizations here in the state of Florida. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce uh, Mr. Kano. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Lewis, thank you to uh, the College Democrats here at the University of South Florida, and thank you to all the students at the University of South Florida for hosting us here this evening. Um, as everyone can see from all the pandemonium going on, the Republican presidential uh, candidates are getting ready to debate soon. And what we're here today to protest and to speak out against is not just their anti-immigration rhetoric, but their rhetoric has gone so far to the extreme that it's become anti-Latino. And that's what we are here to protest and put an end to. You know, these candidates believe that good policy is building an electrified fence around our southern border and then profiling the remaining Latinos in this country. That's got to stop. Institutionalized racism is not a good policy. That is not better immigration policy. And we demand better immigration policy and immigration policy reform, not only from these candidates, but from our current administration. And that's what we're looking for here today, is for people to step up and do what it takes to demand it from our current government and from these candidates. We have to put an end to rhetoric that is nothing more than a witch hunt, because that we're not going to allow that in this nation. Many of us have been born here. We're second, third generation Latino, and we have no right to be stopped and asked let me see your papers. This is not Nazi Germany. This is the United States of America. Yep. And we still believe in the American dream. My name is Christopher Cano, and I am Vice Chairman of the Democratic Hispanic Caucus here in Hillsborough County. And now I would like to introduce, on behalf of uh, our Hispanic Democrats, Ms. Betty Francesi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for hosting this press conference here today. My name is Betsy Francescini. I am the Hispanic Outreach Director for the Florida Democratic Party. Florida has over a million Latino voters. 13% of the registered voters are Latino. And we have very important issues here that affect us. We are uh, seeing how the Republicans stand for anti-immigration, anti-Latino. The rhetoric is clearly face what they're going to do if they take office. We have, uh, they uh, agreed to veto the uh, DREAM Act. Uh, they're against immigration. They're, they're for Arizona-like law that discriminates and, and creates racial profiling. And we definitely have to stand up and let them know that we can just basta ya. We are not going to allow this to happen. We need all our voters, young voters, and, and every registered voter to come out on November 12th and vote against Republicans because they do not stand for the best interest of the Latino community. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's about. It's about organizing the people that you love in your community and protesting for your rights here in America. We're here today at the GOP debate with different kinds of voices from Ron Paul to whomever you support. It's, it's a great day for democracy and we're here as a Hispanic community and as the Democrats to share our point of view with all of you. It's about standing up for what you believe in. And we believe in rights for the Hispanic community. We're Americans. We're here to work. We're here to pay taxes, to sweat blood, sweat and tears. We're here to provide the American dream in the American way. That's American exceptionalism. Inviting everyone in your community to join hands and just start a love train. That's what it's about. So thank you all for being here. It's about the people. And let's continue to support our president. Policy for the Hispanic community, and let's continue to support the students, number one. So that's what it's about, the next generation. Thank you all very much. All right. All right, so in closing, we've heard from a number of groups. We understand that the GOP has declared war on Hispanics. They have not had to face uh, the Hispanic community before because of the places they've been in. We have been in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Those are not very Hispanic-rich states. 
Here in Florida, the story is completely different, and we will not stand for the anti-immigrant and anti-Hispanic rhetoric. We do not want an Alabama or an Arizona-style law here in Florida. Let's make sure that does not happen and that the GOP understands that just because they can get votes from their, uh, from their core group of supporters by bashing on immigrants, that will not work in the general election. Thank you so much, and have a good day.